Hello once again everybody. We're at the Caney Equipment John Deere Open House in Greenville. I have the opportunity now to talk with Joel Summers and Joel is uh, representing from the Oxford store and uh, you know as you watch every week, uh, Koenigs have stores in a multitude of locations, and this Greenville store is uh, a brand new store, and we would invite you to come down here anytime. But Joel, here at the uh, open house, you're going to be uh, giving a demonstration on lawn care and uh, some of the problems that fuel uh, has with lawn care. Can you tell us a little bit about the demonstration? Sure. Uh, the biggest problem we see with especially small equipment like chainsaws and trimmers is long-term storage. And it involves ethanol in the fuel. Um, ethanol tends to draw moisture and separate over long-term storage. Now, by long-term, what are you talking about? Well, you know, we're not bad people. We don't tend, we don't mean to do this, but uh, so many times we set our trimmers down or even our snow blowers and uh, think we're going to use it one more time during the season. And then along comes a, uh, a snow or something and the trimmer sets from possibly July or, or August and it might be April or May before we pick it up again. So uh, generally talking six uh, to nine months of storage, we can get into problems. But uh, gasoline can actually start to deteriorate in two to three weeks. So uh, it's becoming more and more of a problem. So when you have a problem like that, uh, can you just simply empty out the tank and uh, pour in some fresh? Or w what's the proper thing to do, to well, for safety and, and everything involved? Well, uh, that's certainly the first thing to do is uh, if your trimmer won't start or your chainsaw won't start after long-term storage, uh, dump out the old fuel, get some new fresh fuel in there, and probably that'll solve the problem. But uh, in the long-term storage, fuel is corrosive also, and it tends to corrode aluminum parts such as in the carburetor. Uh, it attacks rubber parts, which is the entire fuel system between the tank and the carburetor. So uh, depending on the severity, uh, you could have damage that needs to be repaired mechanically, not just changing fuel. So is this something that you would suggest folks uh, uh, take uh, a trimmer or a snowblower or whatever uh, back to where they bought it to uh, have it properly cleaned and looked at? Or is this something that the homeowner can do himself? Uh, the homeowner can certainly take a lot of steps to prevent this. Um, there are two things you can do. You can dump it out when you're done with it, start it up and run it dry. Try to get every drop out of it that you can. Uh, the other option is to fill it completely full with clean, fresh gasoline so that there's no room for condensation in the tank. And uh, either way, you're hoping for the best. Um, but uh, if the worst does come to pass, then it has to go to a shop to be repaired, possibly with a new carburetor and new fuel lines. Well, Joel, here in front of us, uh, a lot of different uh, items uh, uh, for your demonstration. What are some of these, and uh, are these uh, helpful hints that you're going to be passing along? Yeah, um, I've got examples here of clean, fresh fuel uh, and some examples of some nasty old fuel that's probably been around for a year or more. Uh, I have some gasoline here that has no ethanol in it and uh, that's getting hard to find. Uh, we find a 10 percent usually ethanol in most all our gas stations anymore. Uh, there is some push now to go to 15 percent alcohol or ethanol in the fuel and that's really being pushed back against by the industry because uh, Ethanol is a, a solvent. It tends to clean, and in a two-cycle engine where we're being lubricated by the oil in the fuel, mm -hmm. uh, the two are actually working against each other. So a 15% uh, ratios of ethanol start to get into problem where we're going to have uh, uh, actually mechanical problems. Okay, well, Joel here, uh, I see uh, over on this side of the table um, a helmet uh, with a, a visor over it for protection. Uh, 
actually, uh, if you could pick that up, and uh, I have never seen anybody in my neighborhood that has used anything like this. Uh, uh, is this something for a commercial user, or what? what's this for? Absolutely not. This is something everybody should use. Very few people do. Uh, this combines face protection. It combines uh, head protection and also ear protection. Does it all in one piece. Um, we recommend these highly, but uh, like I say, most people, like everything else, just don't, uh, don't go the extra mile for the complete protection. And of course, then uh, later in life, they might have a hearing problem or uh, such as that. Now, I, I see here you've got the uh, trimmer from the weed eater, and you get a little bit of uh, a few questions about that. Yeah, we try to let this demonstration go wherever people want it to go. Um, fuel or, or my, my trimmer won't start is always the main problem. But uh, we have other, other issues with uh, string. I don't understand how to rewind the head uh, or my string breaks off even what's, what's happening or the string inside the head melts. What's causing that? So uh, we try to address concerns rather than presenting a... A, uh, a lecture here of things that nobody really wants to hear. So, okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to be listening when you give the demonstration in a few moments, but if some of the viewers uh, have a few questions or would like to get some uh, information, what's the best way for them to go about getting it? You know, any of the guys here at Koenig Equipment can, uh, can answer these questions, uh, especially in the small engine shops, the uh, service managers. Uh, if they can't answer it, they're always happy to find someone who can. So there's, a, there's somebody here that can answer any question you might have. Very good. We've been visiting with Joel Summers out of the Oxford store of Caney Equipment. Joel, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And stay with us. Back with more right after this. Big Oil presents.